What is going on everybody? It is Foreign and today we're taking a look at Project Zomboy. Now I know it's been a while since I have had made any content for you guys, uh, but uh, I've been extremely busy and here we are back again, hopefully to uh, get back in the flow and make some good content for you. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this. So we're going to be playing solo. Uh, there is a big update that just came out with a multiplayer uh, like kind of update. It's got a whole bunch of new stuff things like that uh we are playing on that branch though we're just playing solo um so uh yeah let's see how this goes let's see if we can survive now i have been playing this for a little bit so i do understand the concepts so i can uh go along with you guys and uh talk about the game as we progress through and let's see how long we could survive without becoming a zombie so uh these are the four different spawn locations around the map this map's actually pretty pretty huge uh so there is a lot to explore and all that but i think uh we're gonna we're gonna start in rosewood i've started there before it's a it's a pretty good spot i've uh explored it quite a bit so uh, i think i know where we can get some good loot things like that now this is your occupation and traits so this is what uh kind of helps start you off better but also in order to get more good traits, you have to select some negative traits in order to get the points to uh, get the good traits. Um, but we're going to start off as burglar because that allows us to hotwire vehicles and that's going to be essential starting off. Um, we can move places faster, we can store things. So if we can get a van, uh, that'd be great starting off. Vans hold more weight, so uh, we'll, we'll talk about that later on, but uh, for now kind of just want to kill some zombies so i'm gonna go with the traits that i normally go with that i think uh i think are pretty good starting off so i'm just selecting negative traits and we can go over these later at another time and yeah that should be everything but these are major skills this is what boosted is boosted at the beginning so let's go ahead and make a character shall we actually i think i have one saved yeah, I've got one saved. There we go. Alrighty, let's see how how long we can survive. So uh, the main thing is not getting bitten. Now you can get attacked by zombies. You can get uh, lacerations, scratches, you can bleeding. You know, you could break 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 stuff, things like that. So uh, let's hope it doesn't come to that. But the main thing we want to try to stay away from is getting bitten. Uh, pretty much once we're bitten, it, it's it's game over for our character. So yeah, let's let's not do that. All right, so let's get rid of some of this info. We don't. I don't really like playing with the mini map. That's part of the new update. Um, but uh, let's just go ahead. So when uh, it's a house we spawn in. What do we got not really good. Good. There's a belt, but we already have a belt on. I think this is the bathroom, man. Yeah, nothing in the bathroom. Well, we got we got absolutely nothing in this house, guys. I mean, some food, but uh, we really need to uh, get geared for something else. All right. Uh, so I think I know where we're at. I think if we head this way, we'll come across a fire station. Thing is, can we get there without getting brutally attacked? Let's see, so we got three zombies up the road. Police officer that looks like with the baton. We can we can try to definitely kill her. So the strategy with no weapons is to kind of just knock them on their knock them down. Oh, uh, so they got. He's, so I picked up a watch that allows us to tell the time, temperature, and day. We're fighting two zombies. I'm take you out first if possible. Oh shoot! Okay. Start grabbing it. Okay, let's try grabbing it. Attach belt left. Where? Ah oh, shoot! Okay. All right, let's just take you out. Got a nightstick now. There we go. Okay. Now let's uh wear this. We'll go ahead and. Equip another shirt that'll give us more protection. 
go ahead and take no oh, there's another one take you guys out real quick let's just stay down i don't think you can get back back up oh jeez they're coming out everywhere main thing we do not want to do is get swarmed or at least back ourselves into a corner then we're really screwed because once you get overwhelmed you cannot get out of it like because you can push them away but there's a certain point where it's there's too many <laughs> it has happened to me and it's not it's not a good time so we're gonna try to take these guys out okay there's four of them oh there's a lot up here too okay there is a strategy we can on the ground thank you like this one okay that didn't work there let's hop back over the fence though okay this is where we need to be but they're gonna follow us so we need to take these guys out get off me okay just like that oh this is not what we want this is not what we want holy crud okay 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 yeah let them all fall <laughs> fall over the fence and then we can kind of lose them a little bit Ooh. um so you guys might not be able to hear it but once you come across a lot of zombies you get this panic icon and uh but basically your heart rate goes up you can hear your heart thumping all that good stuff so uh, you can get panicked, which uh, doesn't bode well for us. All right, let's see what we got. Do some looting in here, shall we? Uh, I guess I'll take. Need a pencil. Well, I can show you later what we'll do with a pencil. Um, I am thinking about fortifying this place, maybe, or we can just move onwards. Uh, the one place I haven't been to is which I would like to get to early game is there's a big town that they added It's called Louisville if I'm pronouncing that correctly um, But it's a major city, but it's got a good bunch of good stuff to loot from um, Will be helpful early on I suppose. Oh geez that scared me. Oh This is why you should always Probably look before just running in. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna equip his firefighter pants and military boots. It gives us more protection. All right, and then I can go ahead and put give him the stuff I took off. Okay, so we need to we need to like clear this building before we really do anything. Uh, I'll grab the rip sheet. Rip sheet we can use as a bandage if we do get attacked later. I can. Uh, I hear another zombie. They might be upstairs. There's a gas can. Uh, we definitely want the gas can. We can hot wire a car early on. Hard hat. Uh, attach that to our belt. Probably need the saw. Oh, yeah. There's some good stuff here. Good uh, tools we'll definitely need later on. Question is, do we just leave everything here? Oh yeah, a lot of good tools. Oh, there's even a sledgehammer, crowbar, axe. Uh, I'll attach, I'll get the axe because we already have a skill set for it. Oh, hello. Oh, camera's messing up. Okay, okay. I really don't want to kill you in here because if we do kill him in here, then we got to clean up the blood. There's already a skeleton body. Hey. Are you following me? Yeah, come on. Hey. Come on. Let's go. I'll turn the light on for you so you can see. Out the door, please. Thank you. There we go. Look at that. Easy peasy. Oh, there's a bunch. Have they broken in potentially already? He might have been the one that followed me. Alright, I'll take it up. 
So this this place wouldn't be too bad to fortify. But holy crud, yeah, they all followed me. Now that we got an axe, we should be able to mostly handle ourselves. Hey, hey. Hey, yeah, come on. Follow me outside, please. Come on. I need to open up the other door, too. There we go. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay, seriously? There you go, you're dead. Alright, I think that's... I think that's all of them. Shoo. Alrighty. Oh, just kidding. One more. There you go. Stomp his face. And there's two more over here. Let's just let's clear the surrounding area. Come on. Come on. What you guys got? Come on. Come on. Oh, oh don't do that. That was close. Almost got bit there for a second. Done. All right, we'll check those cards out later, but uh, we do got a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff right away. All right, let's go upstairs because I believe that's where the food and the locker room is. Uh, lights are already on. Here, zombie up here. Oh, you're down there, huh? One in the bathroom, too. Unless it's downstairs, I miss one downstairs. Could always be a possibility. Hello? There's a light, there's gotta be a light yet. Yeah, like you're in the corner. So everything is interactive. Uh, lights, uh, a lot of stuff you can actually interact with. There's a lunchbox there. Ooh, some aviator glasses. Oh yeah, now we're styling. I uh, already got the military boots. Uh, nothing really good in there. Okay. Some extra clothing we'll probably eventually, you know, need to keep on hand. The bedroom set in here. Alright, so here's the kitchen. Is there a can opener, though? Soda. Go ahead and drink this water bottle. There we go. Oh, can opener. There we go. Alright, sweet. So we do want to try to also find a backpack right away. Can't do much without a backpack, really. Unless we get a vehicle. Then we can start just storing stuff in the vehicle. But the vehicles also don't have a lot of weight. So we'll kind of drink the soup real quick. Or we'll kind of look around in these other cabinets. Some chocolate. There's a dead mouse in the trash can. Yep. Okay. I don't think there's much in here. Sheet of paper, just some furniture, TV. Alrighty, not too bad, not too bad. There's, there's gotta be a zombie downstairs somewhere. Where are you being at, though? Confused as to where the zombie's at. Unless it's outside? No. Oh. Did I, did I miss a room upstairs? Let's go check. Sounds like I didn't. This is clear. Huh. I hear them, but I don't exactly know where they're at. Oh, you know. Oh, I think I know where. Hold on. I think there's. We go in here. Yeah. You're in here, aren't you? Oh, gee. Yep. You're there. Hello. 
I was prepared for them, I still got scared. <laughs> Just, just go to sleep. Thank you. Gee, well, you got some painkillers on you. Thank you for that, I suppose, at least. Anybody else in here? No. Turn the light on. Alrighty. Not too bad. We are a little bit exhausted. Uh, we uh, definitely just did a lot of work here. Clearing out. Cleared out a bunch of zombies. Um, and we are wet, which I think we're just sweating uh, due to the amount of clothes we have on right now. Uh, we do need to kind of wash the blood off of us. So we'll kind of wash ourselves real quick. So, uh, as you can see, we do have, this is our inventory, and then we have the loot area down below box. Um, so... Uh, our max weight we can carry in our person is 12. Um, I don't know exactly what units it is, but that's just the numbers they get. And we could also wash all of our clothing, get the blood off, kind of keep our stuff in good condition. So, uh, this place seemed to have a saw, sledgehammer, pretty much almost everything I think we need. Uh, as far as building and demolishing, we'll probably need some more uh, mechanic tools if we want to repair any vehicles in the future. Um, we'll also need to level up our skills. So we do have different skills, as you can see in this box right here. Um, well, uh, eventually this will keep going up and up and up as further as we progress in the game. It would be really nice to have this fully maxed out, but that's going to take some time. And then this is our health. Uh, and then player info. Oh, yeah, I don't need that. These are our traits and our uh, uh, occupation, things like that. Kind of uh, helpful, useful info. All right, let's see what we got going on here. All right, so first things first, we really need to go find a backpack. Uh, so we got pants, we got an axe, shovel. And I think it was a sledgehammer hammer, which is good. I'll grab the hammer right now. Uh, we don't really need the nightstick anymore right now, so we'll put that back. Um, I'm going to drop the glasses on the ground. We got a saw. Yeah, we got some good stuff. All right. A lot of pants. I don't know. Did I look at these lockers over here? A zombie right outside. We need to take care of them before they destroy a window. As you can see, I'm already trying to do that. Not allowed. Tell your friend he's not allowed to do that. Go on, tell him. They don't. They don't seem to be listening. Nothing good on you. Uh, sometimes zombies will also have backpacks, good guns on their backs, things like that, that we can loot off of them. Uh, there's a bit of a horde over there, small group. Small, some small groups over there. All right, well, if we don't get in range, hopefully we can just check these cars out. Check the seats, see if there's the... Um, sometimes the key will also be in the ignition. There's a lug wrench. That's pretty good. Alright. See, like, this one's locked. Let's check the hood. Uh, does this thing have any gas in it? Okay, nope. It's out of gas. Check the trunk. Nothing in there. I think that one, a couple of them spotted me. Yep. All right, let's, let's do this, shall we? Oh, 
Nope, I said stay on the ground. Alright. Come on, what you got? Back off, back off. Both dead. All right, we are excessively exhausted. Let's see, do you guys have any good things? You got a vest on you. I can wear the vest. A little bit more protection. Already got the military boots. Oh, you do have a map. So this, I think, is the closest town. So this, when we read a map, it kind of gives us a layout, the colors, uh, industrial, community services, retail, restaurants, hospitality, medical, things like that. So, and then if we close out of that, we just put that back in there. Uh, there is an actual map we do keep on our hand, but since we found that map, it becomes unlocked. Now it is kind of fogged out, that's because we have an exact, actually explored it, but it does become a little like this and then we can eventually explore it so uh as you can see this is our map and i can add notes like this is the fire station i could even put a little arrow there since we have a pencil and yeah that is the fire station you had some cigarettes on them. We'll need those. We need to find a lighter, though, too. Alrighty, so much to do right off the bat. Alrighty, so there's a... Oh, there's a jack and a tire right there in the road. That could be good. Uh, that car, though, looks pretty banged up. Quite, as you can see, uh, there's a zombie way over there. It's got a gun on the back. It's a police officer, it looks like. Uh, let's head over there real quick. See where we can. Uh, maybe there's a police car, or a police van over there. Let's scout the area real quick. So there's a decent amount of zombies. Do a little. Ooh, so there is there is a good van. Looks like a pretty good. Good condition van, but a lot of zombies. A lot of zombies. All right, well, let's... Uh, we're drowsy, we're hungry, and we're high exertion. So I guess let's see how this goes. May have to come back to it in the next day. If we get a vehicle, that would be very helpful for looting and looting. Stocking up, or at least getting out of this town. At least, the reason I chose this town is it's a good starter town, and I've explored it, so I kind of know the area and my way around this town. But all the other towns I have not explored. And there's what kind of a four towns. There's a couple of outskirts of buildings I think around. I don't want this crawler to bite me. As you can see, I'm not killing them as fast because my exertion is really high. I'm kind of worn out. So that took uh, way longer than I really should have. I'm worried about those zombies up there. Because we, we can't really run. That This is as fast as we're going to go right now. So I'm a little, a little worried about coming up here maybe we should just wait on it but i want to see if i can get in it at least no it's locked dang oh uh oh uh oh okay okay all right let's uh let's get back to the fire station if we can you are following me son of a gun okay we'll have to maybe we can break into that hopefully it doesn't <laughs> have a car alarm that would be bad, but we definitely want a van like that for looting, or at least the truck. Uh, that'll help us out in the beginning. But uh, we got a couple of zombies we're gonna take care of. Alrighty. Let's 
So let's continue walking down here real quick. Take you out. Getting around you, not at our current walking pace. There's a zombie following us. I don't think we're gonna get away. Uh, I'll have to take them on. This one. As long as it's kind of big group, you should be okay. Come on. Fall on the ground, thank you. Come on, just die. I know we're exhausted. There we go. Alright, let's, uh, do you have anything on you? Keys? Nothing? Okay, that's fine. Oh, we're gonna have to try to sneak. Make sure those guys don't spot us. Don't think they did. Okay. Looks like we're in the clear mostly. Um, and if we do want to make this our base, uh, which I think I think we will, just because it's got a garage for our vehicles, things like that. We got an upstairs with food. Uh, we could always block it off and barricade it up, so we're more protected if we do need to head upstairs for any reason. Uh, but I don't think I want to make this my main base. Maybe we'll see. We'll see how things progress along, I suppose. Alrighty. So let's kind of... Okay, we're pretty much pretty much in the clear. But I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I hope you all did enjoy. It'll be a little bit of a longer episode just to do the, the nature of this game. I think that's how it's going to be. But uh, this is pretty much day one. Um, we'll need to get cleaned up, eat some food, go to sleep. And uh, continue on the next day. Hopefully get a, a uh, working van, hopefully, that we can kind of drive around, loot up, stock with supplies, things of that nature. So I did hope, once again, hope you all enjoyed, and uh, it's good to be back recording. So uh, hopefully you all did enjoy, and I will catch you next one. Peace.